Welcome to this video demonstration of Mini's satellite navigation system. As you can see, we're on the main menu at the moment. Everything that we do, everything that I'm doing now, will be controlled using what we call the iDrive system, which is just down here. So turning that wheel will take us through the various options on the screen. We can then select things. We can jog this to the right, to the left, up or down. Uh, so any menu we go into, I'm going to be using this. You can access certain main menus directly from here, so you can just press nav and it'll take you in there. But we're going to do it from the main menu. So we're highlighting navigation at minute, so I'm going to push that button down to go into the navigation menu. Uh, and you can see there we've got various options. We can input a destination, we can look at recent destinations, points of interest. We can just look at the map should we wish to, uh, which is a lovely big clear display as you can see. Uh, we're going to go back to the main menu for the moment and I'm going to start off by showing you points of interest. So for example, uh, if you're out and about somewhere um, and you needed petrol, you can select petrol stations and it will show you every petrol station from the closest to your location to the furthest away. So if you knew, for example, uh, you had a Shell card and you wanted to go to a Shell petrol station, you can select that petrol station. It'll even give you the phone number, which is particularly useful if you're uh, searching for hotels and things like that, because of course you can ring ahead uh, and book a room. Uh, otherwise, if you want to go to that Shell petrol station, move it down to, to highlight accept destination and push the button down. And what it will do is it will ask you if you want to start guidance. We'll say yes. Please turn right in 200 yards into Bernard Avenue and then turn left. There you go. So now it's calculated a route to that Shell petrol station, which it says is 5.4 miles away and is going to take us 11 minutes from here. Uh, we can access this menu to the left here by jogging the dial over to the left. Uh, and as you can see, we can go back into the guidance menu and stop guidance from there. Uh, so what we're going to do is, because most of the time you'll jump in the car and you'll, you know, you have a new destination you want to input. So we're going to go to destination input just up here. Now you'll see uh, the country is obviously correct. We can put in a place or a postcode. Now most of the time you're, you're likely to have the postcode for where, um, you know, you're hoping to go to. Uh, so we can just type in uh, postcode. So if I start typing it in now, it will start to limit our options. It will let us put in numbers and then back to letters again. And once you've actually put the postcode in, it will confirm that the selection is correct by bringing it up on the right hand side there. So we just move the dial over to the right so that we're highlighting the postcode and push the button down. We can put in uh, house numbers and things like that, or you can just go straight to that postcode by hitting Start Guidance. Select the first one on the list. Please turn right in 200 yards onto Bernard Avenue and then turn left. So there you go, and it's now starting guidance to that route. You can zoom into the map. It will do it automatically, as you can see, it's done that now, uh, based on the speed that you're doing, or you can zoom in and out of the map just simply by turning that dial, actually. So you turn it to zoom out, to the left-hand side and then clockwise uh, to zoom back into it again. A really easy system to use. Uh, if you'd like to come and see it working firsthand, feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd be more than happy to demonstrate it for you. Thanks for watching the video.